determine the production cost transferred to cost of goods sold during August. So we're going to be looking at just the production costs that are transferred. Sifton Electronics Corporation manufactured and assembles electronic motor drives for video cameras. The company assembles the motor drives for several accounts. The process consists of a JIT cell for each customer. Following information relates only to one customer's JIT, JIT cell for the coming year. Projected labor and overhead is seven million three hundred and seventy thousand. Material cost twenty eight thousand dollars per unit. Planned productions include four thousand hours to produce twenty seven thousand five hundred motor drives. Actual production for August was sixteen hundred units, and the motor drive shipped amounted to thirteen thousand or thirteen hundred eighty. We have to figure out how to apply our conversion costs. Since they're giving us the number of units that were produced and the number of units shipped, we'll use units as the activity driver for the uh, conversion costs. So I'm going to make uh, do some division here. I'm going to take the seven million three hundred and seventy thousand dollars. Divide that by four thousand. Uh, I'm sorry. That's 27,500 units. So I'm using the units here to apply uh, my factory over or my conversion costs. So I do my division. And my conversion cost will be $268. Clean that up. $268 per unit. So for every unit I convert uh, or complete, my conversion cost will be $268. My material cost will be $28. So I can add those together, and my cost per unit then is $296. So there's my cost per unit. Now the question was, the number, the cost of the units transferred, the cost of goods sold. So that's the number of units that were sold or shipped. So if I take the next calculation, I'll multiply the 296 times what was it, 1,380 units. And I get 408,480. So that would be the amount that was transferred to cost of goods sold for August. So I start out by calculating the cost to convert. I have to take my total conversion cost, which is the labor and overhead of 7,370,000. I'll divide that by the number of units because that's how they're giving me the information here. So I get $268 per unit to convert it. My material cost is $28. Add those together. My total cost of each unit to produce is $296. We sold $1,380. So my cost of units sold was $408,480.